So you want to add mods to your Minecraft server. First things first though, you need to set up a Forge server. We've already done this and there's a link in the description down below on how to go make your very own Forge server. It goes over everything in depth and gets you to this point, the point to where you're ready to add mods to your server, add mods locally, and then join your server with those mods. So go ahead, pause this video, go watch that one, get your Forge server set up, then come back to this one if you haven't gotten your Forge server up and running already but if you have gotten your forge server up and running we can get going now there are a few things i do want to note on the front end first any mods you add to your server also need to be added to your local mods folder but not just your local mods folder anybody any single person who joins your modded minecraft server also needs to have the mods on the server installed locally as well so that means if your friend is joining your server and they don't have the exact same mods installed as the server has it won't work for this reason we recommend you know creating a mod pack or something like that with the mods or sending the mods directly to your friends to download that way they can easily install them because they need them in their mods folder they also need forge installed and to be playing minecraft with forge in order for them to join your modded server and if they do need help or you just don't want to walk them through installing forge well guess what we have an in-depth guide here it's linked in the description down below this will cover everything they need to know of downloading installing playing getting mods everything's covered in this tutorial here once they've done that though they're gonna be ready for you to send them the mods and in order to do that we need to download some so one that i would recommend to every single minecraft server run is spark why because this is going to help you diagnose different issues with your cpu with memory leaks with all sorts of stuff this helps you figure it all out and basically can create lag reports for your server now as you can see we're on curse forge here and by the way all the mods we're installing here are linked in the description down below once you're on curse forge click on files and then we want to make sure that we are downloading the forge version and that we're downloading it for 1.19.4 so right here we can see this is 1.19.4 and it's forge let's come over here click the three dots and click download file it's going to take a few seconds and the download will begin you may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser before we do that though have a smart sponsor apex minecraft hosting go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex start your very own 24-hour ddos protected mod in minecraft server you can get your server up and running in just a few minutes and at apex they have one click installation of forge meaning you can get forge installed and then you can easily add your own mods to forge they also got a mod pack installer meaning if you want to run a mod pack server it's super easy. You just select the mod pack you want and it takes care of everything else. So go check out Apex again at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown did XYZ slash Apex to start your very own modded Minecraft server. And once you've done that, you can add your mods. But anyway, let's go ahead. We've got Spark downloaded. Again, you may need to keep or save the file. We're also going to install Journey Map. Great Minecraft map mod. I love it on servers because, well, servers are just really cool to be able to see what everybody's built from the top down we can go to files here again we want to find the forge 1.19.4 version right there it is boom and click download file and then we also want to go ahead and download biomes of plenty because uh it's kind of interesting adding a biomes mod to a server if you're adding anything like this it's going to change the world of the server I would recommend scrolling down and making sure that everything uh, is good. So as you can see, just use mod in the server for 1.18 and above. No changes to the server.properties are required. That's good to know. That means we don't have to change anything. If you're running an earlier server version, you will need to change some stuff in these server.properties, but not in our case. So let's go ahead and click on files, and then we're going to go ahead and download again the 1.19.4 Forge version. And we'll also need Terra Blender for biomes of plenty as well so now we've got all of our mods downloaded here we can go ahead and make sure they're all saved all that stuff's good and we can install these on the server to do this we want to go find them they're going to be in our downloads folder so to find your downloads folder click the little windows icon top left of my screen probably in the bottom left of your screen or bottom server screen on windows 11 type in downloads right like so you have this downloads file folder and in here are all of your mods we're going to move these to our desktop now what we want to do is go ahead and open up our modded server directory here. This is where we're going to be able to see all of our files and folders with the server, right? We're going to delete the world folder. Do not do that in most cases. The reason I'm doing it is because we're adding a mod that changes biomes. And I want a brand new world generation for this. If you delete your world folder, anything you've built in your world will disappear, just so you know. So let's go ahead and open up our mods folder here. We're just going to drag and drop all of the mods from our desktop into the mods folder on our server. But we're not done yet. 
go ahead and just keep this open and we want to open up Minecraft. So we're going to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Excuse me, not Minecraft, just the Minecraft launcher. Then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to navigate to the installations tab. As we can see here, here's the installations tab. Make sure the modded button here is selected under versions. As you can see, if we deselect it, it goes away. Then you want to come under forge here and click on the little folder icon. That's going to open up your .minecraft folder and in here you should have a mods folder. I'm guessing most of you who are watching this video will have one, but if you don't, you can just go ahead and create a new folder and title it mods. Open this up and you want to go ahead and move all of these over here as well, but don't just drag and drop because if we do that, it, uh, well, deletes them from this other one. So we want to go ahead and select them all, copy, come over here and paste. So now we want to go ahead back to .minecraft, open up this folder. We should have our mods there. We're good to go. We can close out of it. We want to go back to our server and we want to go back here, open up our mod folder on our server and there it is. Okay, so now they're installed in both places. And remember, any of your friends will need all of those mods installed in their local mods folder, the one that's found by clicking here and going into our mods folder. They'll need all of your mods here as well in order to join the server. At this point though, we can go ahead and play Minecraft with our Forge installation. We can also go ahead and launch up our server. So let's go ahead and do that with the run.bat file here. We will go ahead and meet you on the Minecraft main menu to show you that in fact these mods are up and running, they're working, and we can join the server and use them. So here we go, as we can see it does say done, but a lot of stuff happened after it said done. So that is very normal with Minecraft mods. Also, if you've installed hundreds of mods, like a big mod pack or something, your server could take 10, 20 minutes to start up. It's, it's not uncommon for that to happen. But now let's go ahead and jump to multiplayer, click proceed here, and we can of course direct connect. Now we will be using our local host. Your friends will join via your public IP. Nothing changes there. But as you can see, when we join on in, boom, we are now in game. And immediately we have journey map, and that shows that that mod is working. We can press J, pull up the full screen map. We can set waypoints. We'll go ahead and do that and call this the spawn really fast, because I always like to have a note of where that is. Boom, right like so. And now, what about bombs of plenty? That's another one that we can easily see by just kind of running around. By the way, let's go ahead and op ourselves on this server. That way, we can come over here and go into creative just because it's easier to test these mods and things in creative. Now, bombs of plenty should be working out of the box, and there it is. So, as you can see, these are biomes of plenty biomes here we can press f3 and c under the biome tab over here bombs of plenty seasonal forest so there we go bombs of plenty up and running the next mod is spark so let's go ahead and run a cpu profile to do that we want to do slash spark profiler and then we want to do dash dash start or excuse me they've changed it to just simply start so spark profile start click enter and now it's going to uh, start a profiler it's going to take a minute for that to kind of get up and running. And while we're doing that, is that all the mods we installed? I think it is actually. So while we're doing that, we can just kind of explore a little bit, but I do like this village here. I can ask for season comments occasionally. So there you go. This is like a pretty good one, especially when used with bombs of plenty. This is a massive forest or uh, not forest village. Wow. It's awesome. So there you have it. We have it now. Got all these mods installed. I'm just going to sit here for a second, fly around and let spark do its thing. And then we'll show you the full screen map as well once this is done, because it'll look really cool with the uh, bombs of plenty stuff. All right, so now we have flown around a little bit. We can go ahead and stop the profile with slash spark profiler stop, hit enter. And now it's going to spit out a link that we can go to to uh, actually see this profiler. Right there it is. Boom. And uh, let me open that in Chrome, right like so. There we go. This is basically your server's kind of vitals, if you will, your CPU usage, your memory, your your everything is right here. And you can see a lag breakdown at the very bottom here. And this is what's using stuff on your server. Now, normally this is okay. As long as you have 20 TPS, you don't really need to look at anything here. Everything's good. But if you are lagging, you're seeing a lower TPS here. That means you might need to diagnose some lag on your server. And this is how you can do it. Nevertheless, though, at this point, your server is up and running. I did promise we would show you the full screen map here. It honestly looks really, really cool just flying around some. I, I missed a spot in the middle there. But uh, you can see, look at these biomes of plenty biomes. It looks so cool from uh, the full screen map. That's why I love running a mod like Journey Map uh, with a full screen map with biomes of plenty. We didn't even really get any of the really cool, beautiful biomes other than that one. This one right here looks pretty good. So nevertheless, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. Enjoy your modded server. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.